According to Kant, the right thing to do is to follow the categorical imperative. What does the categorical imperative say? Well, Kant had three different formulations of this principle. The first formulation, the formula of the universal law of nature, says, act only according to that maxim by which you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law. What this means is that you shouldn't do anything if it wouldn't be rational for you to universalize that action. For example, let's say that you're considering whether or not to make a false promise to repay a loan in order to get some quick cash that you really need. It doesn't matter what you need the money for. Maybe you need it to buy food for your starving family. The point is the bank won't give you the money unless you promise to repay it next week, and you know you won't be able to do so. Should you lie to the bank? Well, Kant says, think about what would happen if everyone lied in order to get loans. Pretty soon, the banks would stop giving anyone loans based on the promise of repayment because they knew that such promises were worthless. And then it would be pointless to make false promises because they wouldn't get you anywhere. So it would be self-defeating and self-contradictory for you to make a false promise while at the same time you will that everyone else should also make false promises. If everyone made false promises, then your false loan promise would not successfully procure a loan. Your action fails the test of the categorical imperative, and you should not do it. According to Kant, the same thing applies to lies of any kind. Now Kant thinks that duties, which are generated by the categorical imperative, fall into different categories. Perfect duties are duties that must be fulfilled at all times. These are usually duties to not do certain things. For example, at no time may you lie, cheat, steal, or murder. On the other hand, there are also imperfect duties. These are duties which must be fulfilled, but not constantly at all times. They are usually duties to do certain things, like give to the needy or cultivate your talents in order to become a useful person. And we have, a, and we have perfect and imperfect duties both to ourselves and to others. One of the things that sets Kant's ethic apart from utilitarianism and similar theories is his total denial that the consequences of our actions determine their morality. According to Kant, the only valuable thing in the world is a good will, that is, good intentions. Uh, the important thing is that you do the right thing because it's the right thing and for no other reason. The consequences of your actions are out of your control. Intentions are under your control. Good intentions are the only thing that matter.